Good evening. Do we have a show for you tonight? We found some amazing historical notes about one of our most influential writers, William Shakespeare, and his wife, Anne Hathaway, apparently... Wait, Anne Hathaway? No, not that Anne Hathaway. Anyway, Shakespeare and his wife apparently went to marriage counseling at one point, and we have the therapist's notes. What was that like? Who knew they had therapy? We all know Shakespeare had married Anne because she was pregnant and then wrote some amazing love stories. Who were the great passions in his life? If Anne was such a great love and they had to go to therapy, what was that like? Tonight on tonight's show, we will be exploring what that might have been like. Let's see. Thank you for coming to therapy. This is a safe and honest place. In here, we speak the truth. This is open territory. Do or say anything you feel would help your marriage. I'm here because my husband doesn't stay home with me. Get her to a nunnery, because I'd rather hang with my mistresses. <laughs> well, other than the other women, it's his work. All his time, all the plays. At least they don't complain like you. The lady doth protest too much. Well, at least I fight smart. All you do is make our arguments into your damn place! Say it! Say it! My, your words, my fame, honey. I didn't mean it to go like this, but it works. I also do private sessions. The course of true love never did run smooth. <laughs> Well, there is no love. Here. I only married you because of the baby. Now I find you to be a fat, kidney, rabbit sucker. For once, speak like a normal person. For once! Who? What did you call me? I think he just said you're into rabbits. <laughs> I think I need to face the facts. To be in such, in, I, I was not ready to be in a relation, a ser such a serious relationship. I rushed into things too fast, and led us both, especially me, that into an abyss of pain and suffering. Much like Cupid, I was painted blind. Good breakthrough. I'd like to see you. Every week. <laughs> I know, I know, but I do love her. Nothing in the world so much as her. To prove your love for Anne, please write a play about the perfect love, Mr. Shakespeare. See you in a week. I read the play you wrote, and I must say, this Romeo and Juliet is quite a story. But it does seem to say that, one, marriage and love will kill you if you eventually get there. Two, it's better to kill off the love while it's fresh and new, while the lovers are young, then the love is eternal. And three, in-laws always suck. Is this really how to woo your wife back? Anne had her baby six months after they were wed. Maybe something was rotten in the state of their marriage. Maybe William never had to marry Anne in the first place. But they didn't divorce after the baby. Woo! They had two children. So, no Shakespeare daddy, someone else, or, huh? How do we even know those are real historical documents? This all sounds phony. Yeah. Of, of course it's real. You think we make this stuff up? I mean, this is serious stuff. Doth not the appetite alter? A man loves 
the meat in his youth that he cannot endure in his age. Uh, oh, come on! Donuts were invented in the 1600s! Sure they were. They were made by the English. What? He was to spoil.